Um, I've, I've been told I have a great story, and I'm going to tell you my story, and you can be the judge of that, I suppose. But it's a, it's a great moment in my life that really the, what you do with your moments is what really what defines the trajectory of your life, and I think it's a big uh, factor on what I did. Uh, I'll start you with a question, though. If you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it, or would you let it slip? Uh, I'll give you a little bit of, bit of uh, background on myself. Uh, I graduated after three years of, of, uh, of uh, schooling at Fanshawe College with two three-year diplomas, which sounds cool, but that's just kind of how they did it at the time. And uh, from there, I, I took a job with a company that does basically what I do now. And uh, uh, I found this opportunity, a way out Eastern Quebec, fabulous opportunity, and I thought, this is me, this is what I'm gonna do. We're gonna go start up this $1.5 billion smelter. This is what I'm gonna do. So I took it to my, to my boss and I said, hey, this is what I'm doing, I'm going to go back. Uh, we all had a meeting and they said, you know what, you're less than a year out of school, you have no, no experience, you can't do this. And they offered it to everybody else in the office. Nobody else wanted to go to Quebec and do it. So it came back to me. And he said, you know what, we're gonna send you a great life lesson for you, Mike, because you're gonna fail. And uh, so what I did was, they, they said I could go. I sold my motorcycle, I bought a diamond ring, I gave it to my girlfriend who became my fiance and is now my wife, and, uh, and I waved goodbye. And I went out to Eastern Quebec. Uh, fantastic. I flew out there, never flown in my life before. The deal on the job was 12 days on, two days off. So every every two weeks they'd fly you home. It was pretty cool and it was an awesome job. The place was so big, it kind of blew me away. But uh, week one, I flew out there, I started to get a little bit of uh, responsibility, started to dig into the job. Week two, I got a little more responsibility. I, I was continually just blown away by what these people were doing out there, but I continued on, continued on. At the end of week two, I arranged to get my flight back on Monday, and I flew home on Friday, and life was grand. Week three, I got a little more responsibility, and I started doing a little more and a little more, and uh, something really cool happened. I found out that they were building a sister plant over in the Persian Gulf. Well, that was fabulous, and you know what? That's me. I'm going to the Persian Gulf. Forget this Quebec stuff. I'm going to the Persian Gulf. So I, I went back to the I called back to the office, and I said, hey, I'm... I'm I'm going to button this one up, and I'm going over to the Persian Gulf for a little while. I'm going to do that job. Well, they had another meeting, and they decided that nobody liked doing what I was doing. Nobody wanted to travel like I was traveling. New company policy, nobody travels more than four weeks a year. Not only are you not going to the Persian Gulf, when you come home on Friday, you're done. You're not going back to Quebec either. So what are you going to do with that one? So I was done, right? No. I just didn't get on the plane. If I don't fly home, they can't not fly me back. So I stayed. So, thank you. So I continue to get a little more responsibility, and I continue to push this Persian Gulf, because man, I was going to the Persian Gulf. What a great thing. <laughs> Week six, I had a meeting with the project manager from the Gulf, and the project manager from Quebec, and the project manager, he was all set for me to go. The guy from Quebec said, no, you have too much responsibility here in Quebec. You can't go. And I said, if I find a guy like me who go to the Persian Gulf, can he go to the Gulf and I'll stay in Quebec? Yes, that would be fine. So I called back, I lived with six other guys who did what I do, and I said, who wants to quit their job, fly to the golf, and do a job over there? Doug Biesinger raised his hand, and I'm eternally grateful to him. That was, a, that was a, a great thing. Week eight, he quit his job, registered a company, flew to the golf, I quit my job, and we were born. We were off to the races. What a, when I look back on it now, I don't even believe it happened, um, but it was a great, fantastic moment in my life, and, and when I look back, I realize I've had a tremendous amount of, of great moments that I've had in my life, but you know, when people say you shouldn't, um, you're going to look back on your life and you're going to regret some of the things you do, but don't ever regret the things that you didn't do. And this is one I certainly don't regret. I thank a bunch of people. My wife who took a ring and said yes and then goodbye, and my partner who said on a phone call, I didn't even see him, on a phone call he quits his job and flies to the Gulf. Who does these things? Fabulous stuff. I would encourage you to think about, about your moments and the things that, that happen in your life and, and to really seize those things and really, because they do significantly affect the trajectory of your life and that, that is your life and it happens in those moments and those moments happen to us all the time. But I would also encourage you, one of the best things ever that I've ever done in my life, one of the greatest things is, is, to, is to create opportunities for other people to help them grasp their moments and, and to make sure that they do that sort of thing. Uh, that is probably the single most rewarding thing I've ever had in my life. And I would encourage you to do that. And I'll finish with a question. If you had one shot, one opportunity to seize everything you ever wanted, one moment, would you capture it or would you let it slip?